welcome to Teltech Services training videos. This video will discuss managing the auto attendant on your phone system using the Call Pilot Manager. The video assumes that you already know how to get to the Call Pilot Manager and that you have the user ID and password required to log in. If this is not the case, please contact us. So from the main menu, we would select Auto Attendant. And really, the changing these settings describes what message a caller would get if the automated attendant picks up, uh, how the automated attendant will answer your, your phone calls after how many rings and, and where I might send the calls once it's finished with them. So you'll have one of two configurations. Either you'll have line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, that is a certain type of Nortel system. Or if we page down a bit, you'll see that line 61, 2, 3, and 4 is set up in this particular system. And it is set. You see answer mode, table skill set, rings command. If we go back down. So it's going to be answered by the automated attendant. It's going to process table one after three rings. And if we want to change that, we simply click on the change there, and we can say that we don't want the auto attendant to answer, uh, or we want to have a different table, and I'll describe tables later, or we want to change the number of rings that the, the system waits for before it answers the call. A couple things to be aware of here. This particular system is set to answer the answer the line after three rings. You can change that higher or lower as you like, uh, but two things to be aware of. This must be set at least one lower than the number of rings before your voice message on your actual extension picks up. So if your extension 225 and the system allows four rings before your voice message picks up, this needs to be set for one lower than that. If you don't do that, uh, you run the risk of having the lines go right to your voice mailbox rather than the, uh, the automated attendant as you expect. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If not, give us a call and we can explain it further. The other thing is you can set it for zero rings if you like, and all that really means is that the system will give just a half ring on the uh, whoever's phones are set up to ring, and then the automated attendant will pick up. And, and lots of people do select that. Uh, what you need to be aware of is you do not get a chance to answer that line. The, the system is giving you just a, a half ring just so that you know that someone's actually entered the automated attendant, but there is no opportunity to, uh, to answer that call. So really, uh, the, the choices we see most often are three or zero, and then uh, on individual extensions, their mailboxes are set to pick up after four rings, and that keeps, keeps things working uh, as clean as possible. Okay, you can submit or cancel because we didn't change anything on that. Just going to scroll back down and say, okay, we have the auto window attendant. Table 1 is answering after three rings. I'm just going to click on Table 1. And this really begins to describe what uh, what's going to happen when the automated attendant answers your call. And uh, this is a standard setup, the way uh, virtually all of our systems leave our office and we allow to use it for a bit. And then we uh, give you an opportunity to, to make some changes once you're used to uh, using the system. But this is really the default. And all it's really saying is that when the automated attendant answers the call, it is going to play greeting one, and that, that really is it. It plays it morning, afternoon, evening, non-business hours, and it does not pass control to any CCR tree or anything else. Now, this is a, this is a standard setup. So uh, what I thought might be of value for giving you a feel for how this may work for you is to, uh, to set it up so it has a different greeting in the morning versus the afternoon and non-business hours, and a little bit uh, more on the call control. So quickly, I'm just going to show you what I've uh, written up here. You can see we have between 8 and noon, we want to say good morning, you've reached ABC Widgets. If you know the extension of the person you're calling, dial it now, press palm and search by the, the company directory, or dial zero at any time to be transferred to the receptionist. Uh, starting at noon, we want to say good afternoon. And any time after 5 until the next morning at 8 o'clock and weekends, we want to say you've reached ABC Widgets outside of regular business hours and, and have some different options there. And in fact, if they press zero, we want them to go to the general mailbox or the uh, what we're calling the general mailbox, which is actually the reception at 221, rather than uh, have it ring at that extension. So if I go back here, how would I go about that? Well, the first thing we need to do is, is record the three different greetings. You can see here we have a, a good morning greeting, an afternoon greeting, and a outside of regular business hours greeting. So how do we do that? Well, let's go back uh, to the main menu to the automated attendant and to company greetings. Just takes a moment. Okay, you can see here that this particular system has one greeting recorded. That's the main greeting. That's greeting one. And that gets played anytime, day or night, whenever the automated attendant picks up the call. 
So what we need to do is record uh, three different greetings, one for morning, one for afternoon, and one for outside of regular business hours. Uh, now for expediency, I'm going to show you how to do one and then I'll just, uh, I'll just create the other ones uh, quickly. So the most effective way is, is to create a new greeting. You see here you have a long list. You can actually create some uh, 250 different greetings. So you have lots to work with. You don't have to change greeting one. Uh, in fact, I recommend you keep it there just in case you, you make a mistake or you're not happy and you want to go back to it. Then, it's, uh, then it remains there. So let's record a greeting two. You click on voice, it opens up a little control panel. Here's where you would enter your extension. If you happen to be sitting on extension 225, you just enter that. Click on dial. The voicemail will call your ex your intercom button. Uh, once you answer it, now you're, you're in a position where you can actually record the message. So at that point, you click on record. You record whatever you want that greeting to say. And in this case, we would want the uh, morning greeting to say, good morning, you have reached ABC widgets, blah, blah, blah. And when you're finished, you click stop and I would play it back to yourself make sure you're happy with it if you're uh, if you're not click on record again click on stop once you're you finally got it sounding the way you want to then you uh, then you click on save and then close and uh, just one moment okay you can see here I've uh, recorded three more greetings here and what is very valuable, because it can quickly get confusing, is this add caption feature. And I can simply put uh, morning greeting. You can put whatever text you want there. And uh, just one minute, I'll do the rest. Okay, I've labeled these up so it, it becomes a lot clearer what, what they are. So you don't have to keep going in and listening to them and trying to figure out what they are as you're, as you're working with the system. So we have a morning, afternoon, and after hours greeting. Let's just check our reference. Yeah, we have a morning, an afternoon, and an after hours uh, greeting there. All right, so we need to go back to the, uh, to the greeting tables. And we had said that it was table one was going to answer that call. So let's go to greeting table one. And you can see we have greeting one, two, three, sorry, greeting one, 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 one. Uh, any time of the day or night, that's what's going out. Well, we recorded, uh, you recall, greeting two was the morning greeting. So now we say in the morning we want greeting two. And the afternoon we want greeting three. And then non-business hours, we want greeting four, which was the, uh, was the after hours greeting. Um, now, you may wonder about evening. You can, if, say, you were a retail shop and you wanted uh, a good evening from 6 to 9 o'clock, say your shop was open to 9 o'clock, you certainly can do that. Um, the way that's handled otherwise is to you can just play the same greeting, afternoon greeting, until such time as you want to, uh, as, uh, that you want to go to the after hours greeting. So how do we control the time of day? Well, we did say, if we go back to our reference, between 8 and noon we wanted the morning, between 12 and 5 we wanted the afternoon greeting, and then between 5 and 8 o'clock the next morning we just wanted the out-of-office out of, uh, out of office alert or the outside of regular business hours alert. So all we need to do is go here and say at 8 o'clock we want to start playing greeting 2, and at 12 p.m. we want to start playing greeting 3, and that continues on until 5. And if we make the non-business hours also 5, that will accomplish what we want to do. So between 8 and noon, it'll play greeting 2. It starts playing at 8 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, it starts playing greeting 3. At 5 o'clock, it continues to play greeting 3, but right away it rolls into greeting 4 for non-business hours. So this will accomplish uh, what we want for Monday. I'm just going to quickly fill in the rest. Okay, so here you can see I filled in uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with the same schedule. Uh, something a little bit different for Saturday here. So from 5 p.m., this non-business greeting 4 will start to play. And we basically want that to play through the whole weekend until Monday morning. So by changing Saturdays to 6 p.m. for morning, afternoon, and evening, basically the system from 5 p.m. will scoot through to 6 p.m. and just go bang, 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 and wind up with playing greeting 4 instantly. And it will do that overnight again and do the same thing on Sunday. At 6 p.m. Sunday, it keeps playing that non-business until 8 o'clock Monday morning, where it starts playing that greeting 2 again. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, maybe I'll do it with a, with a highlight here. So Monday morning, it's 8 a.m., it starts playing greeting 2. At afternoon, 12 p.m., which we've set, it starts playing greeting 3. At 5 p.m., it continues to play greeting 
3, and then skips right away to the 5 p.m. and plays Greeting 4. And it follows that through all the way to the end of the, the week here on Friday. At 5 p.m. it's playing Greeting 4, which is the, uh, the non-business hours greeting. And it scoots through to 6 p.m. on Saturday, bang, 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 and continues playing Greeting 4 instantly. Same thing for Sunday, and then Monday morning it's back to playing at 8 a.m. it's back to playing Greeting 2. Alright, that can get a little bit convoluted, so certainly give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, I hope that makes sense. There is one more thing to take care of. If we go back to our our uh, descriptor here, we did want to say that they can dial zero to leave a message in the in the general mailbox or at the receptionist mailbox is really what I should have wrote there. And how do we accomplish that? Well, that is what this disabled DN dialing is for. So just for greeting uh, the non-business greeting, we want to select that. And what that prevents somebody from doing, it puts them right into the mailbox rather than ringing the extension. Uh, after hours, there's nobody there anyway. So if someone was to go into the auto attendant and dials 225 in the while it's while it's in this non-business cycle, that will go right to 225's mailbox rather than presenting the call at the phone first and ringing four times and then going to the mailbox, which can be frustrating for people because they know you're closed. They really just want to leave a message for the person and they don't want to have to listen to the phone ring. Again, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly give us a call 403-543-6959. Now just to close this off, we would click on Submit. The system would accept all those things. Now let's just go back to our line administration and just double check this. So if we scroll down to our lines, which are 61 to 64, click on Table 1. Now we see the greeting 2, 3, and 4 are playing at the appropriate times of day according to the schedule that we set up. If someone presses 0, they're going to go to 2, 2, 1. And the other options, again, I would not, uh, I would not adjust on that. So I'm going to just quickly cover a couple more things on this auto attendant menu, which we'll go into more detail in future videos. Uh, calling line ID routing tables allows you to route a call based on calling line ID. So if you have some suppliers that always call from the same phone number and they always talk to Bob, uh, you can have the automated attendant route that call directly without him having to listen to any, uh, any messages. Uh, the holidays allows you to set up a different greeting in much the same way as uh, as the table one, it allows you to set up a different greeting table for holidays. So let's just say for uh, for Good Friday, you want to let people know that you're closed for Good Friday. This allows you to systematically record those ahead of time, have them all listed there, and the greeting will just play on that day. You don't have to make any changes to the uh, to the system; it just automatically comes up. Once in a while, you do have to go in and adjust the dates because uh, if it's date based and and those dates change every year, you will have to adjust those. A simple reminder in your Outlook calendar will take care of that. Okay, that's all I have for uh, Automated Attendant. The next uh, video will be on custom call routing, and I'll see you then. Thank you.